Hello and welcome to Two Car Pros. Today we're going to show you how to replace the rear brake pads and drum on a Toyota 4Runner between the years 1996 and 2002. The first thing we need to do is jack the car safely in the air. I have a link in the description for a great video on that and remove the wheel. Next, we're going to use these bolts and as we uh, screw the bolts into the service ports, it will push the drum off of the brake pad and brake assembly. Now we can remove our brake drum. Next we need to remove the brake pads on the inside of the brake mechanism. It's always a good idea to take pictures before you take it apart so you can see how it goes back together. Of course you could just watch this video over and over again to figure that out as well. Next we need to compare our old brake pads with our new ones to make sure that they're identical. And then we need to transfer the mounting hardware from the old pads to the new pads. Next, we're going to take carb spray and clean off our adjuster screw threads. Then we're going to take our adjuster screw apart and lube it up with some generic silicone grease.
Next, it's a good idea to grab some carburetor spray and clean the front part of the brake assembly here. Now we can replace our brake pads that we removed earlier, making sure it goes back together the exact way that we took them apart. With the brake pads reinstalled, we can compare our old brake drum to our new one to make sure that it's identical. Now we can replace our brake drum by just pushing it back on. You might notice that when we unboxed it, it was silver and now it's black. This is because the customer wanted us to paint it. It's okay to paint your brake drum as long as you paint the outside and not the inside of the brake drum. Now we can replace our wheel making sure that we bolt it on in a star pattern.
We also want to make sure that we're torquing our lugs to at least 95 to 100 foot-pounds. Next, we're going to take a brake drum adjuster tool that looks like this, or you can use a large standard screwdriver, and we are going to use it to adjust the adjuster wheel. So if you're looking at it from this angle, imagine that you are uh, pushing the wheel to the right, you know, so the wheel is, you know, going up. This will push the brake pads out. You want to push them out until you can hear them. Um, touching the inside of the brake drum, but only when it's touching. You don't want them any tighter than that, and then your brakes are properly adjusted. Now hang on a minute before you go anywhere. You need to know that um, a brake bleed is also in order after doing a brake job such as this, so check the description. I have a link there for a great video on that, and then your brake job will be complete. Just do it for the other side as well. Make sure when you replace brakes you do them on both sides um but yeah that pretty much wraps it up i thank you so very much for watching make sure you're subscribed for even more automotive goodness we have coming thanks again and we'll catch you next time